want to say, Dave, if you're watching, you, you, you're not responsible, darling. It's, it's all right. You're forgiven. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're comparing the Snatch Game impressions in All Stars 7 with their real-life counterparts. May the best woman win. <laughs> they changed it to drag queen. For this list, we're looking at not only how accurate each queen's impersonation is, but also how much work was put into performances of lesser-known celebrities to introduce them to a wider audience. Did these queens absolutely nail it? Sound off in the comments below. Number 10. Trinity the Tuck as Leslie Jordan Trinity's impression of Leslie Jordan drew on the longtime character actor's trademarks, poking light fun at his height, or lack thereof, his flamboyance, and his southern drawl. Mother, she had a C-section with me, so this is the closest I'm ever gonna get to a snatch. <laughs> Many viewers may know Jordan from his scene-stealing in everything from Will and Grace to The Help. Double major. Woohoo! Junior league editor. Damn, girl. Don't you have fun? Most of Trinity's pretty accurate impressions seems to be inspired by Jordan's social media presence. His quarantine-themed videos were one of the highlights of the early COVID-19 pandemic, going viral for achieving that perfect mix of sweet southern grandfather and lovable potty mouth. I'm talking to my friends, Mama. Quit bothering me. How much more of this can I take? Although the wig and makeup are only suggesting the real Leslie Jordan, we'd have to say that Trinity nailed the accent and the star's playful sense of humor. She is very talented. Yes, she is. With her bow. <laughs> That's a very large bow room. Yeah, it is. Number nine, the Vivian as Catherine Tate as Nan. When Drag Race UK winner The Vivian decided to do Catherine Tate for the All Winner Snatch Game, she opted to perform as one of the British comedian's iconic characters. Well, I ain't never seen a child with so much hair on it. It's like a big airy elf looking up at you. <laughs> oh, I nearly had a bilious attack looking at it. As Joni Nan Taylor, a character from The Catherine Tate Show, The Vivian delivers on two of RuPaul's favorite things vulgar jokes and an accent she cannot understand. Your mind's has a few Guinness around the back. And I'm three sheets to the wind, so if you want mine, daddy, not darling. Watching the star's old sketches, what really stands out is the Vivian's more lighthearted take on the irascible granny. He and I've seen really her in gorgeous. that film. He's throwing around that big hammer. He could throw it at me if he liked. Oh, no. So I don't know his stonky big hammer. Still, it's impressive to see how she incorporated even the smallest details into her recreation of the character. Her well used hanky, impressive age makeup, and her shabby shawl really clue us into her eye for detail. Number 8. Shea Coulee as Elsa Majimbo The other queens didn't know a lot about Elsa Majimbo when Shea revealed her as her Snatch Game choice, but the All-Stars 5 winner was undeterred. The viral Kenyan comedian's very distinctive physical punchlines, like eating potato chips and giggling ironically, made her the right choice for Shay. Apple introduced AirPods! <laughs> So now not only can I afford their phones, <laughs> also the earphones is a problem. <laughs> More than that, the queen also pays close attention to Majimbo's distinctive delivery of jokes during her impression. I looked up this lady bunny. Yeah. She's neither a lady nor a bun. No. <laughs> so I said old brown bro. This performance doesn't get the same amount of love as some other ones this season. Bitch, I made a money. I'm going to take this and feed a whole entire village. <laughs> <laughs> Yet we can't help but appreciate that it's actually a fairly accurate recreation of a beloved social media sensation. Being this fabulous, it's it's not easy. Number seven, Evie Oddly as Rico Nasty. People are always asking, Rico, why you nasty? Both are known for their big personalities and eccentric fashions. So Evie Oddly and Rico Nasty really are a match made in Snatch Game heaven. Mimicking the rapper's distinctive look, Evie seems to have based most of her impression on Rico's performance style rather than her real life persona. This is a baby and a tummy, mama knew I was great. They can play me like a dummy, they know what not to take. The queen definitely has the attitude and unwavering confidence down. We go Mick Nasty! <laughs> if this was all you knew of the rapper and songwriter beforehand, you might be fairly surprised by her relatively low-key personality in interviews. The keychain. Yeah. 
it said Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And I was new at school, so like that's how the boys would, they'd be like, oh, that's Rico. But it's like, oh, Rico, you nasty. That's probably the most surprising and interesting thing about this distinct impression. Number six, the Vivian as Joanna Lumley as Patsy Stone. I just wrote Old Clown Road, and I also wrote Chanel. Taking on another British TV icon, the Vivian channeled actress and model Joanna Lumley's most famous role. The chain-smoking, narcissistic fashionista Patsy Stone from Absolutely Fabulous is already so exaggerated she's practically a drag queen herself. Thanks to you, I had to spend the whole evening alone in this house with Helena Bonham Carter here. Although this Patsy is much less cruel than the one on AppFab, the Vivian's stunning physical similarity to the character really sells it. She also makes use of Patsy's famous turn of phrase and her obsessive love of high-end fashion brands in her intro alone. Darling, how are you, sweetie? I'm doing great. I'm aware I'm telly, so I'd just like to say, I love Chanel. All the Vivian really has to do other than that is smoke her fake cigarette and drink wine straight from the bottle. Number 5. Raja as Diana Vreeland Snatch Game is best done using a character who has a lot of distinctive qualities. Well, few real-life figures were as distinctive as the legendary former editor of Vogue. As a student of fashion, Season 3 winner Raja clearly feels a kinship with Vreeland that shines through her brilliant makeup job and eccentric take on the character. Ah, uh, you see, I adore a girl with a Rubenesque figure. Yes. And speaking of, I'm a bit starving and could use a Ruben myself. As a great Snatch Game impression should, Raja's performance uses real-life components of Vreeland's personality, like her crisp elocution and rolled R sounds. The elephants, the horses. The regalia, the trappings, oh, it's gorgeous. But she exaggerates them for comedic effect. What inspires you now? Purple mittens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd say purple mittens. Okay! Freeland's ability to speak passionately about mundane things is another great detail Raja adds to her characterization. Number 4. Monet Exchange as Martin Lawrence as Shanene. She's a lady. Reviving Lawrence's character from his 90s sitcom, Monet demonstrates how good she is at riffing on a character. A lot of these people think that I'm a drag queen, but I ain't no drag queen RuPaul. No, what are you? I'm a lady. And she calls back to one of the decade's most underrated sitcoms in the process. Donning some truly fabulous hair and long nails, Lawrence dragged up as the character of Shanene Jenkins throughout Martin's five-season run. Cole, you don't knock on people's door like that. That is disrespectful. Monet does not just stop at the look. She's also able to play up the character's distinctive speech patterns. RuPaul, not saying that you know I own my own hair salon. She even gets to show Shanene's more flirtatious side in a great interaction with Evie Oddly's Boogeyman. Maybe I'd like to lay you sideways after this game goes <laughs> down. I mean, come on, Mr. Boogeyman, there's nothing but space and opportunity up in here. <laughs> Number three, Jada Essence Hall as the Lady Chablis. The judges knew exactly who Lady Chablis was, but Jada's performance as the performer and transgender trailblazer is a great reintroduction to the unlucky among us who have forgotten. Do you ever drink Chablis? I don't know what the hell that is. She rose to prominence after appearing in the 1997 thriller Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. It's like my mom always said, Two tears in a bucket, mother But the Lady Chablis was a fixture of Georgia nightlife long before then. Jada uses a shimmering outfit, glamorous mug, and dangling earrings to bring the lady to life. But the queen also brings her commanding presence to the set as well. Now, I've never seen anybody wiggle their nose and get a goddamn thing, and that's why I broke down pussy cat. Foul-mouthed and fabulous, Chablis was a luminous stage presence who voiced her opinions and didn't care who heard. Jada doesn't get nearly the love she deserves for shedding more light on a trailblazer. Is that if your soul and your spirit says it's the right thing, then it's the right thing. Number two, Raja as Madam. <laughs> Ventriloquist Wayland Flowers and his glamorous show puppet Madam were among the lesser known pop culture references featured in the all winner snatch game. Do you Love. like the hat? How about the shirt? Yeah, the shirt is cute. Yeah. Love it a lot. I've got a date with a football team when I get out of here. <laughs>
Raja's animated performance is perhaps a little more profane than Wayland and Madam's original act, but only a little. Isn't there a slight age problem with you and Rock? If he dies, he dies! And the queen and her uncanny prosthetics resurrected the puppet bringing her back from the brink of obscurity. Raja's Madam is a fitting tribute to the body old broad with a wicked sense of humor and a haughty cackle. I just so happen to be wearing my summer diamonds today. You are? Absolutely. Summer diamonds and summer not. <laughs> Accurately impersonating another human is one thing, but an actual puppet? That is some next level Snatch Gaming right there. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Shea Coulee as Miss J. Shea brings the funny as top model mainstay Jay Alexander. We were taking bets on how many deviled eggs we could fit in our mouths at once. <laughs> you remember how much you did? Uh, no, I can't remember. None, because you said you was watching your cholesterol, you skinny bitch. <laughs> Keep your day job. Oh. <laughs> Jada Essence Hall as Prince. This impression isn't super accurate, but it's still hilarious. What's up, Rue? I'm sexy. Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm a man. Oh, how rude of me. I haven't given you enough time to freak out yet. You may do so now. Oh my god! Jinx Monsoon as Natasha Leone. Jinx gets the Russian doll star's raspy voice down pat. I quit smoking today. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Well, what are you smoking? A uh, cigarette. Uh, yeah, I didn't say it was going well. Then I just uh, had a little bit of ash on my collar, don't smoke. Monet Exchange as Mike Tyson. This Snatch Game impersonation really homes in on the boxer's way with words. I gotta say, Mike Tyson, your penmanship is impeccable. Impregnable. It's a sandwich like you never had taste before in your life sandwich. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jinx Monsoon as Judy Garland It's fitting that Drag Race's queen of all queens should impersonate the diva of all divas. Glory, glory, hallelujah. As a late career Judy Garland, Jinx Monsoon doesn't just nail the iconic star's look and voice. Judy, I've always wanted to ask you, what is over that darn rainbow? Well, it's a set, Rue. She nails the diction and the way Garland told a story. Whenever we do that little dance up the yellow brick road. Yeah, I remember that. I was supposed to be with them. Yeah. You know. They'd crouch up. They'd shut me out. I, they'd close in on the three of them, and I would be in back of them dancing. Jinx also replicates the way the icon used to handle a microphone and even mirrors the grand gestures she would make when she sang. And not just that, the queen milks each one of these characteristics for maximum effect. That she manages to deliver the jokes while still staying true to the spirit of Garland herself proves that she is one of the best Snatch Gamers the show has seen. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.